Transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Shepard, so you're just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over? No, they've got us on rotation. We're mostly in fortified holding zones until strike teams clear an area. Then we come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? We'll be perfectly safe. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. 
I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. Guy filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Should've just shot the bastard when we had the chance. it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. 
I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Let's not overdo it. Well, you could at least buy me around. I had a feeling you were working up to that. Yeah, and I have a feeling you're not gonna buy me one. When we get back to Earth, I'm buying. You sure you don't want to buy me a drink? I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Salute! Thanks for the drink. When we get back to Earth, I'm buying. Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the 1st Regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the Empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold out. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of... Commander Shepard? I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our home road back. thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. Anytime. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. 
The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Gnarl will explain it. If we're gonna work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One Boy Scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got C-Sec eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get an ovarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm gonna slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. We'll talk later. I'm sure. is alive, I will not rest until he's found. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. The sorry intelligence is reported. Tell me you have found my son. Not yet. I think I've recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D-24. 
Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Call me Teresa. Maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war. But you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change that. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch. What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the C-Sec outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. 
It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical, she might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentia spoke with you. His home world is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. I should go. I'll be here. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintain discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it.
security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but... No, you don't understand. This is isn't for... Listen, I am a surgeon at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. I found this Metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for an even higher absorption rate among aquatic species. You'd like a sample? Why, of course, we'll be happy to send you one. Just as we sent one to every pharmaceutical company in Citadel space. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better way. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. And the enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient? How's Ashley doing? Very well. Her rate of recovery is amazing. I still want to keep her under observation, but she should be fit for duty soon. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta anymore. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Humanity 
Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Tell Matriarch Athena that our Huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina? I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah. I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay. Get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, LC. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you. Even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in, and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation. And half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. 
But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. Hey, Shepard. Just checking in. Anytime. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh, um, no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. isn't safe. Yes. Yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. Killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. She's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. 
I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. You know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good duct. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now. So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Neyra walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. Coming by again, Shepard. I wish the best for you. Commander Shepard, welcome to the Presidium Commons. You are on the main promenade of the Shopping Galleria. Here you will find establishments offering specialized goods and services. For assistance or for information about our special promotion, talk to me or contact the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Do you have any information on purgatory? The term purgatory is present in many civilizations with varying associated uses and meanings. No, the bar called purgatory. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on its list of approved nightlife entertainment facilities. The place feels familiar. The sounds, the smells. It's like being back on Earth. The current decoration budget was approved by Ambassador Asoba, the human representative for Earth on the Citadel. Each species granted ambassadorial rights on the Citadel can apply for a slot on the decoration schedule to change the promenade and parks below. The only condition is that the proposed environmental features not be toxic to species living on the Citadel. 
What else is in the area? The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Recently, new biometric systems have been added to assess the specific needs of your species. Biometric systems? Sounds more like a security measure. These simple and confidential systems are in place for the safety of all visitors to the Presidium. We respect your privacy, Commander Shepard. To opt out, please visit the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. What's this promotion you mentioned? Producer Jean-Marie Aronisius is donating a portion of all proceeds from her new Blasto movie to the Citadel's Military Defense Fund. Audio excerpts of Blasto 6, Partners in Crime, are now available for your listening pleasure right here on the Presidium. Where can I check this out? To listen to excerpts, simply go to the Features Hallway and find the Blasto 6, Partners in Crime, Publicity Panel. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Oh, uh, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as Med-10 volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world, and now our people have lost their way. Unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Larger colonies appear to be priority targets. If you're coming to the Citadel, do it soon. Certainly. Look me up. Business will keep me here for some time. Don't count on the Batarians. Karshan is lost. The Alliance is spearheading this war. I agree it's quite impressive, but I wouldn't venture into the soul system. Call me when you have the information. No. I'll send you a different number. This connection isn't absolutely secure. Selling now would be unwise. Welcome to Elkos Combine I'm Arsenal Supplies. Happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we can use any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs. Welcome to Kanala Exports. We appreciate your visit. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vids... It's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, 
You deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. If we switch from financial PIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers win. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. If we switch from financial VIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need... I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walk Fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my homeworld burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. <laughs> of course not. Sanctuary's a scam. What? Oh, count on it. Somebody's making money off people's fears. Wish I'd thought of it myself. you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Neural. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! to look even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creek. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Quill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. <laughs>
Training prepared us for everything but this. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her, but I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. It's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I'll do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, 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 oh yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh... Well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Please obey all local government restrictions when purchasing protective equipment. Remember, all purchases made by Agor Munitions will show in your credit report as AM Trading Limited. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate your visit.
Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with a Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Our Good selections hunting. include rare technology upgrades from the Terminus systems. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. Docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let... Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E-24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D-24, which is tagged to your biometrics. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. 
For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, Relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. What else is in the area? This high security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. So how did the council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Christophe Vasser, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the... Uh... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Araka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Araka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to Raisin, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. 
Yeah. He mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. We just got a force and the ship made it off Calvin. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. Now, this is going to be home for a while. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. You are looking at VI Model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. You are looking at VI Model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vakarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in bay D-24. Thank you. 
Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. Your purchases are a credit to the hegemony. Shepard, the Council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Tolok, of all people, got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. A text message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Commander Shepard. General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes, neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now, reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Man, you look horrible. <laughs> I'm willing to bet you look worse than I do. Yeah, well, did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level E24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? 
Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'll get you your weapons, General. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. Wow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao can... Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. Using Hayes Gamma as a staging area, Reaper forces yes. have rapidly okay. expanded into the Gemini Sigma and Voyager clusters.
It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about, rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Yes, his squad did re- Something important I had to do, and... Oh, are you looking for someone, ma'am? I... Maybe. I have these papers, but I'm not sure why. Here, why don't I take care of these for you? Would that help? Yes. Yes, please. You know, you remind me of someone. My son. He's dating an Asari. She looks remarkably like you do. He's so very happy. Thank you. That's wonderful, ma'am. Bow. Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you. Well, he shouldn't have died then. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Bow. Here's the course. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Sole name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on 
Special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait, a virus would be detected unless sent on low-priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Upload's disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one moment.